Hey there and welcome back! In this episode I'm gonna show you how to create this neomorphism login form in the easy way, step by step, so we can code together, okay? There is a lot of nice things going on here, as you can see there is the logo, the title, the button. By the end of this episode, you will know how to create your own neomorphism login form by yourself and add this to your website and portfolio. Let's get started. And all right, start really from scratch. You have this folder with just this picture. Let's fire up our VS Code. Let's open that folder, okay? And here, let's create two files. One for the markup and this style for the CSS, okay? And here, let's have our markup here. For the title, let's say something like Lemofiz login form. And in here, let's grab the Google Fonts, Lato, and paste it here. The second thing here is the link that's gonna connect our CSS to our markup. Okay, so it's done. Let's have things side by side. We're gonna code on the right, and you see the result in real time on the left. That's the best way of learning. Okay. Now let's grab the body, let's give it a margin of 0, height is going to be 100 pH, with 100 VW, overflow is going to be hidden, let's pick a font family, uh, of course it's going to be Lato, we just picked this for Google. Uh, font weight is going to be 700, we picked just 300 and 700, remember? Display is going to be a flex, and align height is center, just five content of center, and color is going to be 555. Background, let's pick a color. Alright, remember this is just the body. Now we are going to inside the full parts of the project, okay? Let's go back, let's go to the body. Let's create a main login div, okay? This is where we're going to put the logo, the title, everything. Let's grab it and let's give it a size of 430 pixels and a height of 700. I forgot to put the pixels, okay? 430 pixels, all right? And now let's give a padding of 6 pixels, 35, 35 pixels, and 35 pixels. Body radius is going to be 40 pixels, okay. Background color is going to be the same as the body. That's why you can't see it right now, but we're going to change that with shadow. It's all about shadow, okay, box shadow here. 30 pixels, 30 pixels, 30 and 20 pixels. Let's pick a color. All right. Minus 30 pixels, minus 30 pixels, 20 pixels, and a second color. And now you can see we have our main part of the project. We have the login form. All right. Back to our HTML. Let's create our logo. Uh, another div with the title, let's say web development. You can say wherever you want here. And let me maximize this, make it bigger. And in here, you're gonna have also a subtitle, okay? Until now, just three things, the logo, the title, and the subtitle, okay? You can do that step by step, so you can follow along. And let's grab the, the first one, let's grab the logo, okay? that logo, background, and let's bring a picture, in my case I'm using my own logo, you can use yours or your client logo, with 100 and height 100 pixels, so you have a square, we're gonna fix that with body radius 50%. And now let's bring it to the to the middle with one line of code, margin zero auto. Okay, that's a nice trick. And let's apply some box shadow. In this project, it's all about shadow. Okay. And let's say here zero zero two pixels. And let's pick a color. All right. 
Now the second one. All right, as you can see, we have it here. So let's move to the title, okay? Let's take the line center, let's bring it to the center. Let's increase the font size to 20, 80 pixels. And it's very close to the logo, so let's bring it down with padding top 24 pixels. Okay, let's give it space in between the letters of 0.5 pixels and that's it now let's move to the subtitle and here text align center let's bring it to the center it's quite simple that's the best way of learn you're learning by doing okay and let's do the same thing they are very stuck together so let's give a padding top of 7 pixels and yeah, you have some spacing between the title and subtitle. And letter spacing 3 pixels. Okay, that is spacing between the letters. Make our project looks better. Now, back to our markup. We are going to create our div fields. And here is going to have a username and password. In the username, you're going to have this input here. The class is going to be a user input. Type username. And let's also have a placeholder here saying username. All right, let's just duplicate this. You don't have to type the same thing again. And make a few changes here like password. Type password class pass input and for the placeholder let's say password okay and let's also create a button button the class is sign signing button and let's type login okay they are here next step let's give it some style first of all let's grab the fuse div give a width of 100% Let's also apply some padding, okay? 75 pixels and 5 pixels, 5 pixels, 5 pixels. As you can see, it's much better now. Now let's grab the input, both. Let's apply a, let's get, get rid of this default style, okay? Border none. Outline none. Also, let's see the background. Let's get rid of it. Also, background none. And font size. Let's increase it to 18 pixels. As you can see, the left is much better now. It's looking good. Change the color to 555. Five, five. Let's apply also some padding. There are two stuck together. All right, it's looking much better. Let me show to you. Okay. Let's grab now username and password. And here, margin bottom, 30 pixels. Also, some bottom radius 25 pixels is gonna be okay. And also, let's have some box shadow because we want this to fit the project. It's all about the normal okay? 
This is a demo phase in login form, so let's apply this also to username and password forms, okay? Let's put here inset, man, inset minus 18 pixels, white, okay? And yeah, we have a nice effect. There's a few things to do, but it's already looking nice. Uh, let's have some icons. Those are SVG icons. You're gonna have the link down below in the video description. All you have to do is, as you see here, is you're gonna copy and paste. It's quite simple, it's that simple, okay? In front of the password and the username and you copy and paste. You agree with me, they are too big right now, but you can change this, okay? We go to the CSS fields and you tag SVG, height 22 pixels, and yeah, nice size, but it is a problem, position. So let's do it, use the margin, zero, 10 pixels, minus 10, three pixels, 25 pixels, yeah, they are the way we want, they are nice. Now let's grab the sign in button. Okay, let's get rid of outline. Also, border none, no border row. Of course, it's going to be pointer so the client sees some type of iteration. Width is going to be 100%, height 6 pixels. Let me save. And yeah, but of course, we have to round the corners with body radio 30, 30 pixels. Font size, let's increase that to 20 pixels. And let's also use that font that we bring from Google Fonts, okay? Using font weight 700. And font family is gonna be Lato, okay? Sans serif. Let's also apply a color, it's gonna be uh, white. All right. Text align center, you know why, because you want to center everything here. And let's pick a, a background color here. You can pick the, the one you like more or the one that fits your project. And let's apply also some box shadow here, okay? 3 pixels, 3 pixels, 8 pixels, and let's pick a color here. B1, B1, B1. And here, minus 3 pixels, minus 3, and 8 pixels. And the second color is going to be white. And you have some nice box shadow. Now let's have some hover effect over a uh, button. As you can see, it's a nice project. It's a lot of things going on. The background color is gonna change when you hover over the button. It's gonna change to this color here. Let me show you. Oh yeah. And we are gonna have, have a second color when the button is active, okay? So let me have a third color here. Click here, when it's active, we have a third color. But this is not to happen the, the nice way, it doesn't look normal. So you have a trans apply a transition, dot five seconds, and it, the effect is much better now, looks more natural. Going back here to our markup, it's time for us to have the last part of our project here. We are going to have a, a link pointing to nowhere. The settings here forgot your password. Or another uncle tag point nowhere and say sign up.
and guess what? It's here and it's very ugly, it's blue that is on the line. Let's take care of that with first of all, let's grab the link and let's have a bring it down with padding top 20 pixels. Okay. Also, let's align that in the center. Now let's select the link itself. Let's get rid of this angular line with text decoration none. Color, a change of color to AAA. And the font size here is gonna be 15 pixels, okay? And yeah, the project is done. Thank you.